As architects, we all know that the ARCAD library is absolutely terrible. That's why part of the ultimate ARCAD template build, the library itself needs to be incredible. What's going on team? My name is David Tumich. I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia. And if you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. Right now, we're building the greatest ARCAD template ever. And today I'm talking about the start of the best library ever. Let's turn around to this screen and get started. If this were a Revit template build, it would be so easy, but because it's an ARCHICAD build, there's very limited objects available. And even harder is the fact that we're here in Australia. So everything that I'm downloading and adding to this template, I'm trying to make sure it's very specific to our clientele, to our work and to what we do here. So let's have a look at what I've found so far. If we come into our objects and our library and our main library, you'll see the Tomic library has been added and there are four categories of folders. Some of them have a little bit, some of them have a lot. So let's start with the ones that don't have much. First of all, we've got our site elements. Straight away, we've got a boom gate and a construction fence. Two items that are relatively basic and relatively boring, but they don't exist in Archicat. So we have those available to us now. Next, we can come into our electrical. And I've managed to download some of the best appliances available. None of this is sponsored, by the way. These are just things I genuinely use in my projects. So if we come into Fisher & Paykel, we'll see we have the bare bones essentials of Fisher & Paykel items. I haven't gone and downloaded every single product, but I have used some of the best products out there. So for instance, we can have a 900 wide cooktop in a matter of seconds or our 600 wide cooktop as well. I've gone ahead and added the induction cooktops, which you'll see come with a weird, funny little clearance area. Now, this is awesome for documenting, but it's also terrible for 3D visualization. So we can always model that out. If we just come to options and untick clearance required, it'll take away the clearances. But it's a good safety measure for us to always be thinking about where we need to have our range hoods, what kind of safety metrics we need to put in place visually as well as graphically. So that's applicable to our 70 mil, our 60 mil, and of course our 90 mil induction cooktops. I've managed to find an inbuilt coffee machine as well. And if for whatever reason, you're trying to make this a stainless steel coffee machine rather than a black one, you can simply go ahead, override all the settings, jump in, type in stainless and start changing parts. Because we obviously have the ovens, I've also managed to find some of the nicest looking Fisher & Pool range hoods as well as your most boring basic range hood available. Once again, we can change the materials and the colors if we want to. I've tried to find objects that are both useful for high-end residential and basic residential. They might not necessarily be the brand that you'll be selecting in your projects, but at least they're gonna be the look and feel of what we need to be using. And at the same time, when we take this architectural template from just documentation to 3D visualization, it's all gonna be built in as much as possible. So that's gonna be able to save us time in our 3D visualization processes. Couple last things in the Fisher & Paykel folder is of course our combination microwave and steam ovens, our fridge and freezer pairs, and our double fridge and freezer pairs. Now this last model is an integrated fridge and freezer. So we would have to go and change those materials to match our cabinetry color. For example, a wood oak light, and then we'd be able to actually match it with our cabinetry design. If you're thinking, damn, this is a template I wanna get my hands on. Well, it is available right now through Patreon. And because I'm still building it out and it could take many, many more moons to complete, it is available for a ridiculously cheap price. For $10, you can sign up to the Patreon and download the template today. You'll get the latest version straight away with no obligation. If you want to bail and just pay $10 and leave, that's absolutely fine. But if you want to support my work, bring this template to life, stay on board and get updates every single time a new version comes out, well, you're gonna to have to stay subscribed to the Patreon. Like I said, it's in the description below. Moving in to plumbing in the 03, you're gonna see there's a series of folders here. Now, this is one I've spent quite a bit of time on to try find quality 3D items that we can use day-to-day -day life. Unfortunately, that also comes with some drawbacks. For instance, if I go into ABI interiors and then go again and then go again, I finally get to the one product. So the way I've been using the plumbing is looking at my main plumbing structure and then simply typing in ABI as an example. Straight away, you'll see all of ABI Interior's products available to us on Archicad. And they're not all gold. Even though they may look gold, we can simply click on any of them 
and change the materials from brushed brass to brushed gunmetal to chrome to even matte black or white, which is one of Abe's most popular colors. To top it all off, obviously as part of the import of all of these products, some materials have come in as well. So if we were to overwrite them, you'd see all of these ABI interiors materials available to us for any other product we might be wanting to replicate and match. I opted for ABI for most of the sanitary features for a number of reasons. One, ABI has an awesome range. Two, they have a great color selection. And three, their prices are significantly better than any of their competitors because they're an innovative online company. So for me, ABI seemed like the perfect fit for this template. Again, not sponsored in any way. It's just something that I personally like. At the start of this search, we obviously have some boring items like towel rails, coat hooks, and toilet roll holders. But we also do have full undermount, overmount, flush mount sinks, rain head showers, custom tapware for our mixers in our showers and our bathrooms, plumbing fixtures and fi fittings that we just don't see anywhere else. Like for instance, we go to a brushed gunmetal of this mixer and spout combo on a back plate, or we could have a commercial pullout feature tap in our kitchen. Whatever we wanted, we can find it in the ABI list. We obviously just have to think about it a little bit more than just documenting and drawing and dragging in a standard tap. Now, there's a time and a place for that, but in this template, it's all about getting things right first time. Just like ABI, we have Chroma. And the reason I've gone with Chroma in this template is because Chroma, especially for their toilets, has the most easily accessible parts to repair their toilet suites. So if you're located somewhere remotely in Australia, or if you have a large commercial project and hundreds of these toilets, you want to be able to fix things quickly, easily, and without having to wait months for parts to come in. Chroma has also got a really good ArcCAD library, better than ABI's. I wish ABI set theirs up like this. Maybe they're going to see this video. Maybe they're going to take some inspiration. Maybe not. But let's have a look at these Chroma items. You see, as soon as we dive in, the whole ArchiCAD UI is different. We can change our product within the one product from semi-recessed to wall hung to above counter and even insert vanities we have everything we need in the one object and we just simply scroll through it so if we wanted that basin simply click through it find it away we go and better yet we know it exists we aren't hunting for it it's easy to download the same applies to chroma bathtubs freestanding walls to back etc they're all available quickly and easily to us there's a couple of mixer taps here as well. I've included it because, well, ABI sometimes isn't everybody's choice. So Chroma provides a quick, easy alternative, especially for those commercial jobs where we're pumping out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these selections. And old school tenants like old school things like Chroma. So it is a great inclusion in the template. The reason I actually found the Chroma template and library is the simple fact of its toilet suite. The standard Arcad toilet let me just quickly show you, it's hideous. It's bulky, it's ugly, it's not a very pleasant object. And even if you try to make it as nice as possible by going in wall systems, changing the push plates and making things look a little bit nicer, it's still a bit of a clunky object. Whereas if we move back to the Chroma suite and go to the Invisi, for example, we can have a beautiful wall hung toilet in a matter of seconds. Or maybe we want a standard toilet or something else. All of it is available in one object. So it was really, really useful. Same with urinals, same with absolutely everything else in the Chroma suite. Now, Chroma is also the parent company of Clark. And Clark, if we type it in just like we did for Chroma, is similar to ABI. It has hundreds of items rather than a consolidated library, which is a bit frustrating. But it's often a cheaper product and sometimes it has better designs for things that we're looking for. So I've included it as kind of like a backup tapware item. If you haven't been in the architecture industry for a long time, plumbing is one of the things that takes so long to specify and document when you're going through and selecting things. So by having a good library as a base starting point, you can think about all of these finer details, like if you want a backplate or if you want individual items side by side, can help you visualize and move through the process quicker and earlier. I do still have Roker in this example, but I'm actually going to delete that file because it doesn't provide enough value in this template. I tried it, I tested it, but I'm pulling it out. It's not good enough for you guys. Last but not least, we have our drainage module, which is simply channel drains and floor waste. They're tile inserts. They have the plumbing traps below so we can test it in our 3D model. But overall, they're just an excellent item. And if we don't want them to be tile inserts, we can go ahead change the grade insert and away we go. Irrespective of what we choose, this is one of those 
higher end finishes that we just simply want and need beautiful bathroom designs. The last folder on the list is the very start of the furniture collection. And furniture is extremely hard to find in Archicad. There's heaps and heaps of options for us in Enscape and Twin Motion rendering software, but there really isn't much in Archicad. So what I've managed to find is just simply a starting point. If we come into our dining room, you'll see we've got a couple IFC conversion objects. So they're not native Archicad files either, but they still do work relatively well. We've got some high chairs, some tables, some basic cyan tables, and of course, a dining table. We do also have a nicer, larger dining table, a bit more custom as well. In the living room, we have a couple armchairs that have come in relatively well. So as objects, you can see, they make a little bit more of a nice presentation on our floor plans, but they're still not the best or the most perfect objects available to us. This is something I'm gonna to continue to work on to make sure I improve this library for you guys and eventually, hopefully, have one of the best hand-selected and curated libraries available for everybody. Anyway, that's all for me today, team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. And like always, I'll see you next week.